Hey everyone! So welcome back to the channel. I have been a little busy and I have not been putting out as many videos and I have been a little behind on watching videos so I apologize for that. If you're new to the channel then welcome and if you're a returning subscriber then thank you for continuing to support the channel. This is an exciting video okay this box this box is got me so excited I received this box about two days ago from Molly at Mini Acres Farm and I have not even opened it yet I'm so excited about what's inside. I had to make sure that I absolutely filmed opening this box, okay? Can you guess what this box is? It is the box, yes, the traveling seed box. So we're gonna open this now. We're going to see what we have inside. I'm excited. Oh, look at that. It's a note from Molly. I don't know if I should read this on camera or if I should read this in private. It says, Adrian, I hope you enjoy going through the seed box. I added a couple of goodies just for you, Molly. Oh, thank you, Molly. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so first thing I see is these garden gloves. These are super cute. Look at these garden gloves. I'm wondering if this is what Molly added for me. Nice packaging here to keep the box Intact. Zeke, honey, it's not for you. Some nice packagings. Oh, look at that. Oh, don't break it, Adrian. Don't break it. Aww. It looks like one of the seven dwarfs. Look at it, Zeke. Isn't it cute? Oh, did you kiss him? Oh, look at him. He's cute. All right, all right, down, down, down. Thank you. Relax. All right. Now, let's get this box out of the box. Woo! Okay. All right, so it's a tall box. Zeke is checking it out. It's a beautiful box. It's a full box. All right, so we've got kale, New Zealand spinach. Oh, Boone child. These are from Boone. All right, I cannot, absolutely cannot go through all of these things in this box, but I want you to see just how packed, look, there's seeds rolling around all over in the lid here. I'm just gonna drop those in. There are seeds everywhere, all outside the box and in the lid and everything. Loose seeds everywhere. So this is what the box pretty much looks like. It is super packed. I am going to go ahead and get some things out of the box. I'm not going to make you guys go through that because it's going to take a while. So I'm going to take some things out of the box. Okay, so this is from the Big Blue House Homestead. Sarah. There's a, a bunch of things in here. Um, this is also from the Big Blue House. Bunch of seeds in there. We've got from Britain Farm, white half runner green bean. Those sound interesting. I have to do some of those. 
white half runner green beans. Huh, very interesting. Uh, fracking daikon radish from Outside Pride. Those are some nice radish seeds. We've got some Satsuma orange. Nanya uh, Texas on the back 20. So there are some orange seeds in there. We've got some bush bean, top crop bush bean from the Ginger Ninja. We've got some broccoli from Rainbow Heirloom Seed Company. Okay. This is green bell pepper seeds. All right. This is black eyed peas from the Ginger Ninja. We've got yellow house on the hill with some okra. A wildflower blend. Hummingbird spread and pat on the surface of the dirt from Ginger Ninja. We've got Silver Queen. This is corn. I'm, I'm pretty sure this is corn. That's from MB Heritage. This is Will It Grows Hot Portugal Peppers from Voonchild. Then we have a bunch of, oh, here's some corn from Ginger Ninja. This is the early sun glow corn. Some Detroit red beets. This is gourds from the Ginger Ninja. We've got straight eight cucumbers. Also the Ginger Ninja. Ginger Ninja really packed this box. More wildflowers. This is from Voon. These are Giant Noble spinach seeds. Summer squash, dark green zucchini. Um, Boston pickling cucumber. I'm not even looking in the box, I'm just reaching in. This is green okra. Britain Farm. This is catnip. Ginger Ninja. All right, let's see. Uh -oh. All right, so then at the bottom here, we've got some, these look like they are from a uh, little shop of seed. Purple Top Turnip, Radicchio. Golden Acre Cabbage, Italian Basil, Wilson's Sweet Watermelon, that's a Baker Creek seed, uh, English Lavender, all right, then we have, this is, oh, here's some more, Michelini Aging Cabbage, Little Fingers Carrots. This is Crimson Clover. Okay, we got, these are from Mini Acres. These are all from Mini. Let's set those right there. All right, there's a bunch of envelopes in here now. And this is Corbachi pepper, red Marconi pepper, Corno di Toro pepper, spaghetti squash, Table King bush acorn squash, Honey Boat delicata squash, Tromboncino squash, Armenian yard long cucumbers, Listada de Gandia eggplant, Pak choy, Coco Zell zucchini, 
Kukuzi gourds, butter crunch lettuce, shogoin turnip, I hope I pronounced that right, green Malabar spinach, perpetual Swiss chard, bull's blood beets, watermelon radish, Hawaiian Kona peppers, purple kohlrabi, early white Vienna kohlrabi, red garnet amaranth, love lies bleeding amaranth, rattlesnake whole beans, large sweet Thai basil, lettuce leaf basil, elephant head amaranth, Genovese basil, calendula mix, cosmos, these are ponderosa tomatoes. This is a Tetramix Snapdragon. Red corn poppies. Jacob's cattle beans. Serrano peppers. Contender bush beans. Arkansas Traveler Tomato, Gloriosa Daisy, Boxcar Willy Tomato, Chives, we've got a 42 Day Tomato, a Gardener's Delight Tomato, Shishito Peppers, oops, these two are stuck together, Shishito Pepper, Ancho poblano pepper all right and then here is some morning glories all of these are morning glories this is cilantro lettuce iceberg lettuce coleus rainbow mix that's all that then we've got provider <clears throat> bush bean Okay. Uh, these are oh, this is arugula from Johnny's Seed, more coleus, uh, buttercup winter squash, lemon balm seeds, lacinto kale, lacinato. I'm sorry, lacinato kale, which is also dinosaur kale, giant noble spinach, uh, cherry large fruited tomato, beefsteak tomato, rainbow carrots large cherry tomato, tender sweet carrots, um, early golden acre cabbage. This is Pusa Juala hot peppers. All right, that is it. The box is empty. So this box came to me from Molly at Mini Acres. So Molly's seeds. Milkweed for monarch butterflies, so before planting. Oh, it looks like she kind of just uh, um, just put them in individual envelopes so that whoever wants them can just take an envelope, which is really smart. Really smart, Minnie. Minnie. Molly. Really smart, Molly. All right, and that's all milky. These are all little cute, colorful envelopes of milkweed from Molly at Mini Acres. So, this is everything in the box. Now, I'm gonna turn the camera off for a minute and I'm gonna go through this stash and I'm gonna figure out what it is that I want or what it is that I need and then I'm gonna figure out what it is that I want to put in the box. What can I fit in this box? All right, so, yeah, we'll be back. This might take a while. All right guys, so I'm back. I have gone through the whole entire contents of the box and now I'm gonna show you guys what I have decided to take out of the box. So, let's go through. First of all, I did want to go through the bags that Big Blue House had put in and I didn't go through the seeds the first time, so I'll go through those now. And there are Tabasco peppers, garden beans, Kentucky Wonder pole beans, 
early scarlet glow radish, sweet basil, um, cilantro, black Spanish radish, Kentucky Wonder Pole. I think there's a few of those. These are both uh, tender green garden beans here. And then there was a couple of nasturtiums. And that was what was in this bag. And then she had a second bag in here. All right, so dill, tigger melon, large antique marigold, Carolina African runner peanuts, white onion, honeydew, green fleshed honeydew, and then lufa gourd. Okay, that was what was in her second bag over here. And then I believe she had tucked in a lot of those morning glories and different um, flower seeds that are in, that I had showed earlier. So, now I'm gonna show you guys what I took out. And I did take some of the dill from Big Blue Homestead. Uh, some of the tigger melon. And I only took a few because you only need a little to be able to produce more seed. So, and I did take some of the large antique marigold. She had a note on her bag that mentioned it was beautiful, so I'm attracted to beautiful. I took a few of the loofa gourd. So thank you, thank you, Sarah. I did do the nasturtiums that she put in there and also the Space Master cucumber. I'm out of the Space Master. Uh, Britain Farms had the white half run of green beans. She had a bunch in there, so I took a handful of those. Um, these are fracking radishes, daikon. It's a cover crop, and um, I have a few areas that need some breaking up in the ground, so I plan on planting these during the fall and then leaving them for next spring, and then that area will be nice and broke up for me to plant next spring. I did take a handful of the broccoli that was in there, I'm a sucker for beans, especially green beans. So I did take a handful of the top crop bush beans. Um, I took some of the early sun glow sweet corn as well as the silver queen sweet corn. Um, Britain Farms okra. I did do some of that. It wouldn't be right if I didn't take anything Britain Farm put in, right? I did do the radicchio that somebody put in there. There was a little bit in there, so I did take some of that. The Wilson's Sweet Watermelon, there were six seeds in there. So I apologize, but I am going to go ahead and take the six seeds that are in there. Um, I do need to try that. I did get some of Molly's Milkweed plant throughout the yard. The Lacinato Kale, I don't have any of that. So I did take this package of kale and then also the provider bush beans. All right, that was that. Plus I did the watermelon radish and I took five of the Corbachi pepper seeds. There were not many of the seeds, but I didn't want to take them all. I'm a sucker for peppers and I'm a sucker for beans, okay? So I did take five of the pepper seeds and I figured that would be plenty for me to grow a crop and then I can harvest my own seed from that. Um, I took some of the rattlesnake pole beans and I also took five of the red Marconi peppers. The shishito peppers, um, there were not very many in the envelope so I went ahead and took the envelope for that one. Green Malabar spinach as well. Um, I believe there's only about, well, actually, I'm probably gonna open this green Malabar and I'm gonna just take a few of those. I'm not gonna take that whole envelope. In this envelope, I did six Armenian yard long cucumbers. I took some of the Shogoin turnip and I took three of the Kukuzi gourd seeds and I put those in this envelope. 
I did the tromboncino squash and I did five of the corno de toro peppers in here too. So that, this is everything that I'm taking out, okay? I'm gonna separate that, put a few of those back in the green Malabar spinach. Um, I'm gonna put everything back into the box and then I'm gonna show you guys what I am going to put in. And I'll separate all these later. Probably just take six of the Malabar spinach seeds. So, I'm gonna fold this up and I'm gonna put all of this back in the box and then I will show you guys what I have to put in the box. Okay, I am back. So, let's go through what I am going to put into this box. Hopefully, hopefully I can fit it in there. So, I have the fall in mind. This box is traveling and most of us have our gardens already planted. And if not, then we are doing some succession planting. So we're planting things that are going to produce rather quickly. Most of us have at least 100 days left in our growing season. So we still have a pretty wide range of opportunity to plant some things. So. With that in mind, um, I have like a fall um, idea, I guess you could say. So I am putting a lot of things in the box for fall that people will be able to plant um, soon, okay? so. We're gonna start with these. I've got these sugar daddy peas that I'm putting in here. And these are 60 to 70 day harvest. Perfect for uh, a late um, crop. They're stringless pods. 60 to 70 day harvest. So sugar snap peas, sugar daddy peas. All right. I'm also putting in some Oregon sugar snap peas as well. These are some of the seeds that I have left from seed giveaways and things like that. So they're already packaged up. They have already been packaged up. So I'm just gonna throw the whole bag in there. This is a bag of zinnia. I'm putting some zinnia in there. Um, I've got tons of herbs that I'm putting in. I've got some thyme, some sage, some basil, some, there's an herb garden kit right here. Somebody can take this whole bag and use it for an herb garden. There's thyme, basil, lemon balm, dill, parsley, cilantro, plus there's some tomato and bell pepper and kale in here. So it's a whole garden, herb garden right here. I also have some cat grass, in case anybody's interested in growing that. Um, fall, we've got some beets here. We, we can also plant beets now, so we can continue to succession plant beets. They're 55 to 60 days. Beets, dark uh, Detroit beets, parsnips, um, radish, I've got black, Spanish radish, spinach, tender green, mustard tender greens. Okay, I've got red Russian kale. Um, uh, bunching onions, Lisbon bunching onions, Walla Walla onions. 
I've got yellow sweet Spanish onion and also sweet white Spanish onion. So we've got plenty of onion in there. I've got red giant mustard greens, Portuguese kale, thousand head kale, um, Ford hook giant Swiss chard, rainbow Swiss chard, Broccoli Rob, which is the rapini, you know, the, the tall, skinny broccolis. Broccoli Rob. Um, Long Island Brussels sprouts. I put in some golden zucchini. I've got cantaloupe seeds that I got from Gale at Gale Southern Living, so I'm going to put some of those in there. And I also have pumpkin seed that I got from Gale. Um, and I'm gonna put some of those in there. I planted both of those this year and they're growing fantastic. So, um, more onions, broccoli, red, uh, giant red mustard, Ford hook. Okay, so then now I have uh, jalapeno, king of the north bell peppers. I've got some banana peppers. Roma tomatoes, Brandywine tomatoes, um, Paris Island romaine lettuce, uh, Calabrese broccoli. I've got a bunch of these Grand Bell pepper mix. Copenhagen early market cabbage. These I've already done. Chamomile. Uh, large red cherry tomatoes. This is a Wisconsin 55 tomato. Uh, putting in some ornamental uh, glass gem corn. Sugar baby watermelon. Uh, Black Beauty zucchini. Early yellow straight neck squash. Sweetie tomatoes. Now these are things that we can grow right now, okay? Then I've got this White Knight Eggplant. This was my single seed challenge. I, I have it growing out there, so it is growing. So the rest of the seed I'm going to go ahead and give away. And then I've got, and then these are uh, Royalty Purple Bush Beans, a Mescaline Mix, uh, Late Flat Dutch Cabbage, Top Crop Bush Bean, more cabbage, sage, snap peas, snap peas, uh, midnight red amaranth, top crop bush, bush bean, giant pink Belgium tomatoes, those are heirloom, uh, red brandy one, beef steak, royalty purple bush beans, and more sage. So I am going to try to squeeze all of this into the box. Um, there was a couple of things here that I remember now that I wanted to put in. Uh, the round zucchini, I'm gonna put some of that in. Okay, and also this, uh, Patty pan summer squash. I think I was gonna put some of that in there. And um, some yellow moon and stars watermelon. So I didn't get a chance to put those in, but I'll put those in as well. So that is what I am putting in the box, you guys. I'm gonna package this up. I wanna thank Molly at Mini Acres for sending me the box. And I also want to thank Britain Farms, April at Britain Farms for starting the box. Um, I am so grateful to be able to have gotten the box and be able to contribute to the box. Let me know if you have an interest in anything that is going in the box or anything that is already in the box. Let me know in the comment section below um, what seed in this box most excites you. Okay, and I have to choose who I'm going to send the box to next. So give me a comment below. 
let me know, like I said, what seed in this box that I have gone through. I've gone through every seed in the box. So let me know in the comment section below what seed in this box excites you the most, okay? And it can be more than one seed. If you have more than one seed that excites you the most, uh, leave it in the comment section below, all right? And then I will be able to pick who I'm going to send the box to next. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. I am so glad to have made, been able to make this video and for you guys to join me. So until next time, the more you know, the more you grow. Bye, guys.